How's it going everybody? It's Carpo here. Now I wanted to make this video as an uh, addendum to my earlier video about racism as well as an apology to the people who may have taken it the wrong way. And I'm going to use this to make a point that when you're heated about something and you're really intense about it, you tend to have unclear thinking and you say things that come across wrong and don't finish your points. And uh, the two things in particular is one that I tend to, to generalize the southern area as being more ignorant and more racially intolerant. And uh, as people pointed out, of course, uh, so like someone mentioned, you know, you must not know about private schools. Now, I understand that, and, and I, I know just as many people out here who are just as, just as racist. So here's the main point I really wanted to get across here is that I apologize to the Southerners for generalizing them. Why I did that was because I cannot see how anyone on the coast could resegregate schools and get away with it. But they're doing that in the South. So, and I've seen the politicians that speak on behalf of the Southern states and they're always just so, you know, they just seem so ignorant and the things that they say don't resonate with me. So I understand that I come from a different place. I'm from the Pacific Northwest. I don't care if it's more progressive, some people think we're more hicks, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm from a different culture and I understand that people who grew up around, say, uh, where there was a significantly higher black population than white, and people who were harassed by blacks may build a racist type of behavior, or have a different opinion about immigration, about racism. So let me get to the point here. The things that I wanted to say, and the thing that I really didn't, I don't think I really got across, was that people will always be racists. There will always be racism. And there will always be degrees of intolerance within each person. And there will always be that suspect. I don't care how non-racist you are. If you see a gang of black guys walking down an alley and you're in a white town, you're going to feel awkward. You're going to think, maybe, maybe. Anybody who denies that is either just dumb or, or maybe they grew up in an area where, you know, I don't know. I, I shouldn't even get into that. but. Racism, the racism that people have towards other races isn't the issue that I was trying to address. It was civil rights. The right for a person to be able to vote unencumbered, to be able to go to a voting booth and not be harassed. And people talk about that being over with, you know, the civil rights movement, they got the vote. Even when they had the vote, they couldn't vote. And today, when blacks go to the voting booths, they have the same problems, like in Florida. I mean, this is shown over and over that minorities are kept from voting in the country that they reside in as a legal citizen, okay? That to me is completely ludicrous. That, as well as the civil, as the civil rights issue and the segregation of schools, that's preposterous to me. Those things are major issues. So, the problems that I wasn't addressing necessarily was racism. And I never really got to that point because like I said, you know, I was animated and in the moment. So to make my point now, people who, are, who have racism, who feel ill or a certain way towards another race because of, of a very, whatever reason it may be, they are, have the right to that feeling. And culturally, we are bound to stick by our kinfolk, people who we feel we relate to. So we can't have just black, white, black, white houses down the street. It doesn't work that way. And we know that we're going to always congregate in groups and areas where we feel comfortable around the people with us. And that's fine. So it's not a matter of trying to integrate everybody and force everybody to. And nor is it even an issue of, of uh, you know, people come down to this whole, like, you know, the issue of uh, affirmative action where people are forced to hire colored people because they have to have a certain amount of these and a certain amount of... That to me is a little ludicrous too, you know, that's forcing the will on the natural system. But the right to vote and the right to make decisions in the elections and in our system for whatever it's worth, I think should be of the utmost priority. Because anyone who's born has equal rights, regardless of their education, regardless of how smart they are. And if the dumbest people in the world can vote, and the smartest people in the world can vote, <laughs> everybody who has a conscious, uh, an awareness, and that it, as a citizen of this country should be able to vote, and the fact that people are suppressed, the fact that minorities are suppressed irritates me. So, 
Racism? Fine. You want to be a racist? That's your choice. If you want to feel ill towards a race, that's fine. But when it comes down to taking away their rights as a citizen, that's where I draw the line. And that's the point I was trying to make in that video. So my apologies, apologies to the Southerners because I know people who live in the South and I know that they're not all like that. And I wasn't trying to say everyone in the South is ignorant. I mean, people know me better than that. Uh, but I know people are just people. People are just people and they're a product of their environment. And that's the most important point to make is that we have to change the environment that we have in order so our future generations aren't promoting the same ignorance. Because, like somebody pointed out, that, that blacks tend to be just as racist towards whites, even more so. I totally agree with that, 100%. I've been profiled by blacks. I've been profiled by Mexicans. I've been harassed by Native Americans. And people, Native Americans have told me, that, which quote Native Americans, because I say that because these are people in my age group who grew up in the same country as me and have the same history as me in this country but are using their ancestors as a way to have one up on me and say that uh, my people killed them, and my people destroyed their homeland. It's happened to me a few times and it's pretty disturbing. It's weird when you're the victim of racism as being a, just a white person but you try, you try not to get involved and tie it into the whole racial thing that you can't. You can't not. People are always going to be sucked into that. And that's just the world we live in. So, apologies to the Southerners. Apologies about the education thing, because there's plenty of dumb people out here and plenty of racists out here too. And I think honestly, the the, the Southern racists have more of a leg to stand on than the coastal racists, obviously, because there are many more colors down there. Not always. I, I shouldn't generalize again. This issue is big for me because I think that. Regardless of how we feel about each other, we're all in the same boat and we all have the right to vote. And we all have the right to partake in the decisions our communities make. So, it is what it is, you know, racism is what it is. And there will always be the ghettos and there will always be the crappy fast food places thrown in there and people will say they're trying to keep them down and people will say no, it's because they don't want to move out and we'll argue back and forth. And we're always going to have problems as long as we have a big society. But my hope is just that we could at least give people a voice, unencumbered, to make decisions with the rest of their country. As well as go to school and get the same education. <laughs> as shitty as it might be these days, as the rest of the country. So, my apologies to the Southerners and uh, hope I made my point a little better. Peace.